Welcome back to the Black Parade, Mission 8, Jaws of Darkness. And before I move on, so I was wondering to myself, uh, I just want to refill my coffee, like, what is driving Hume here? I don't understand Hume's motivation. Like, we've got this, oh, you're branded as a sacrifice for the necromancers, but like, yeah, what? Huh? Who cares? I'm not gonna let any necromancers get near me. What is it? Who cares what... whatever you... Firstly, I only have that... Idols... That weird, creepy idols word for that, and... You, you know how much I trust that thing. Secondly... What does it even mean? Uh... Why would I really care? Is Hume really that much more superstitious than Garrett? I haven't seen any signs, you know, does the story so far doesn't seem to suggest that it is. Uh, but what I realised, well, suddenly uh, remembered, while musing on that, is that we had never read this excerpt from the book, which is telling us something about something. Maybe it doesn't tell us anything about that. But it might be telling us something about this place we're in, so we should probably have read that, right, before coming in here. Let's have a look. A signet ring with a sapphire stone in the care of Archmage Tedir, locked away in a large mage mortuary in Haghill Forest. From the two unsuccessful expeditions we have sent there to recover Abuptiar's tablets, we know that the Amethyst Harp was crafted as part of a trial for hand acolytes to access Tedir's tomb using magical silk strings from a source inside the complex, and have high confidence that the tablets are buried within. Okay, it tells me nothing about that. It's really just like, eh, you gotta get the strings in here. Which I had already concluded. Okay. Fair enough. Onwards we go. So I still don't know what the deal is with, um... With why... Hume's... Wise. I think we're gonna have to go for a swim. I don't think we get much choice here. I don't know how we get back to the complex, but... Well... Let's wash off this dust and dirt. Oh, this is fast flowing water. We do have another boulder here if I need it. Oh, there's one now. I do wonder about the tripwire. Come to think of it, did I ever get to the other side of that tripwire? Ah, oh, of course. Does that light up from my presence? Yes, it did, okay. Just wondering if there's something else maybe in the room. <sighs> well, something else making noise. Great, more spiders. The Temple of Spiders. This is very, uh, Dark Messiah, isn't it? This feels extremely Dark Messiah. Oh, look. Webs stretched across the floor. What do you reckon? Oh, hello. I've talked about Raven's Reach particle effects before. Yeah, we're seeing exactly the same thing. These little tiny spiders. Same usage. Okay. And yet, Nick wasn't one of the authors of the Black Parade, I don't believe. And here we've got two things I remember from Nick missions. I don't want to step in those webs, though. Feels like a bad idea, right? It just... I don't know, I just get some, some sense of it. What I could do... Maybe there's some 
I could test what happens if I throw this in there. Okay, so it bounces. Ah! Fucking hell. I'm not expecting that to come down in the front of my face. Right. Now we know. was not good. I, I beta tested Raven's Reach. I haven't played it on stream. I beta tested it. I mean, there's two reasons I haven't played it on stream. One is because I beta tested it, and like like with, say, Matriarch, um, like, I prefer to go into missions when I play them on stream pretty blind, so if I've beta tested them, I just have to let them wait a few years till I've forgotten details, so I'm not just like, oh, I know this, and running past all the guards where I know where they are. Um, and that spider house in Raven's Reach, I did not do a good beta test. I played through once, but uh, that spider house was, was too much, uh, and I couldn't play through it again a second time, but it was just like too intense. Anyway, here's the here's the spoilery bit of this of this um, mission, I guess. So I'm torn right now. Do I try and set off these traps again? Sit like sit up high up there or something, out of the way, and try and kill these spiders when they come down. Um, I mean, this could be doing something shitty, like in Raven's Reach, where they were the infinitely spawning spiders as well. As well as ones that came down from the ceiling. Or... Do I just try and hop past the islands, which I can certainly do, get to the doors? I mean, we're still going to have to deal with spiders anyway, right? I'm going to try... The former. <sighs> Come on. Let me sit up here. Here they come. Doesn't seem too terrible. They die as easily as normal ones. It's setting off its own webs, but I guess it's not actually triggering. I'll feel happier with them dead than just avoiding them, because I don't know if I'm going to have to come out of here in a hurry. Okay, in fact they die easier than normal spies it seems, because he was definitely alerted. Alright, science part one successfully concluded. They have glowing eyes. They're the Sam Fishers of spiders. Now, question two. Got there. Let's 
second in the science experiment is. How am I going to manage that before? There we go. If I set it up again, do we get more spiders coming down? Or is it just those two? Seems to me that these webs are just those two. Alright, let's... Stop that noise. We'll keep this rubble with us. Okay, we're going to do... Both things. Is that a path? That is a path. There's the doors and there's these side paths. God, that is that lamp is cruelly placed. That's placed specifically so you will try and jump and hit it, right? That's nasty. You'll notice even though we've killed these spiders, I'm still staying off the webs. I still don't trust anything about this mission. Okay, we've got that side path. Do these doors open. They look locked. They are locked. Are they pickable? Probably not, right? We're gonna need a key. They're not I don't have my lockpicks. I came all this way without my lockpicks. Well what an idiot. Okay, I guess I'm not picking the locks. I'll go in this way. There. Almost in. What's that I'm seeing? Bugs. I mean, they don't look too scary. Probably hurt. God, this was a temple of spiders for sure. Eh? This isn't like spiders invaded, you know, set up a nest here. They built this place. For the spiders, it's the mages. What is this? I don't think I trust that. Those are little water skimming beetles. Yeah, that's really running around on the surface of the water. That's cool. I presume they can go on land as well. I mean, they might be hazardous, but they're not scary, which is, you know, which is kind of cool, kind of nice. Continue in there. Let's take it off the floor. Hmm, <sighs> that's actually. 
actually miss it that way. I don't know, actually, there's a lot to explore here. Oh. Those are pots of light. Take the lid off. And they light the place up. Put the lid on. And they light the place up a lot less. I feel like the beetles are not going to be friendly, but you know what? I think light is good in this place. I think normally it's bad. I think I'm, I think I prefer to have it the light on. I want to be able to see those. Like this fight was basically pitch black. I want to have a chance of seeing them as they're already around. Oh, I see a candle up there. That was where I reached that. Maybe climb on the statue. Flame from the statue ought to be, but ought to hurt me if I touch it, right? Ugh, but oh, this goes on as well. This is not. So I didn't go east. No. Well, I haven't been up there. I didn't go east. I didn't go. I guess there's a doorway underneath me here that I didn't go through, because... I guess it's down there, so it probably connects to this. That's probably all, it's probably just wraps around here. Dead. I didn't see the web. Fuck. Yeah, there's a web there too. Shoot them while they're on the way down. No, because they're not real until then. Reload. I'm not taking that. Sorry, I'm not taking these spiders. I just didn't. I need to be really careful here. Okay. I can trigger it, but I need to not be there. Definitely won't be able to see it. So I'm going to trigger with my rubble. I do kind of wish it wouldn't uh, trigger it continually like that, but... They're not coming down here. I mean, you can't shoot them as they're descending, that would, that's kind of lame. The fact that this happens is a bit comedic, takes some of the uh, terror out of it. They don't start descending until I see them. That's weird, until I look.
There's another one in the room below. Somewhere. There. Is that coming up here? There's another one too, I heard another. Yeah, that's all those wires. No, that's particle effects from another jar. Damn. Damn bouncing boulder. Okay, so I'm gonna avoid the trap by coming this way and have to walk past the spider, but I have to get stuck on it. Keen on that. Let's stop it again. Right. Ugh. Do not like this place at all. There's more webs down there. That whole floor is webs. That entire floor is webs. Webster's Dictionary. I wish I was back up on... Can I get up? Can I, can I jump back up on there? Do I think I can make that jump? Guess I can try. <sighs> yes, okay. A lot safer up here. Than one floor down where uh, passing is easier. <sighs> also, maybe shouldn't feel safer up here. Save. All right, I know I can get back up. So let's see what we got here. Let's keep a super sharp eye on, on these floors because I am really, really not enjoying this place at all. This is just extremely uncomfortable. More particle spiders. I don't see webs here. There is a dang black pit for spiders to drop down out of, so... There's another door. Okay. <sighs> He's I'm under black pit here, so a spider could easily come down onto this bridge, and I'm not really keen on that idea either. The thing is, what they've done with these spiders is they've given them no, put, no footstep sounds. <sighs> So you can't hear them moving. You only hear if they see something. And that is, again, nasty. This does not seem to be bringing any new ones. Probably shouldn't have quick set though. this void here. That's where one of these two came from, right? One of them came down out there and one of them came down, was in here and saw their fellow dead. Look at that. Thank you. Stop, stop making noise, please. Oh. <sighs> not awful in a fun way, this is just, I am, like, feeling quite sick right now. 
because of all this. I really, really just want this to be over. Stop and drink some coffee. The little particle ones here don't really bother me. I know they're just particles. And I know I can deal with the other ones. I mean, yes, you could play an avoidance game, I just uh, put the avoidance game is not. Ugh. Oh, this room's just webs all over the walls. That are not, probably not, perhaps. But it's just saying, you're going deeper into the, the horror here. Man! It's just webs on the floor, I can't... No, I don't think so. Oh, there's, there's this active spider up there. Forcing me to leave. Yeah, don't need to... They don't want to do that. Oh, so that brings it into bow reach. I guess that might be a good thing. Oh, that's huge. That's a big one. <sighs> it's not coming this way. Right, this is the other side of the spider doors. Got eggs. Are they gonna hatch? Probably, right? Big one. But another void above us, so all sorts of things could happen here. <sighs> Do not like this. Do not like this at all. Is it not setting off the mines? Can't see where my mines are. Oh, it did set them up, okay. One of them was on the steps in front of me, which is awkward. I don't know if it can actually come through here. Oh no, it can come through here. As in, I know for sure it can because I know how AIs work in this game. You can't have... Well, it's possible to make it so an AI can't pass through the door, but it's... Difficult. I'm just, this is just not hitting it or what? I don't want to waste anymore. We really have much in the way of tools. Is it just going to be invincible? Really? It just doesn't even react to the mines or the arrows? No blood. So if it's made it invincible, then I'm. Missed. 
also seems pretty blind. Does not seem to see me here, even though I'm relatively lit up. Oh, this is fucking... we're just wasting time here, aren't we? Well, here's that. There's another mine on the staircase. Is that enough to kill it? So it probably would... I'm not quick saving right now. Direct smoke bombs. I don't know how far I can throw one. I'm doing science now. Spider science. Hate it. Hate this whole thing. This is not the first ridiculously large spider that Skaki's put in a mission. I don't know if this is Skaki's mission, but it would not surprise me. Heard it. I can stun it. Right. Oh, it's not immune to the arrows. <laughs> Quick load. I can't deal with that shit. It's just like three mines, two fire arrows. They basically made it functionally invulnerable, and that sucks. I hate it. Fuck you for doing this. Fuck you for putting this in the mission. Ugh. There is talk on the forums about a possible no spider patch. Like, do I even need to go in there? Can I just collect silk from here, right? Um, but uh, I think it was Doug Bergen says, do we know no spider patch for tester and because uh, someone someone in the comments said they can't play this um because the spiders they can't even deal with the little ones the normal stock ones right um in the early missions and obviously this mission would be way too much it's not it's it's on the edge of too much for me i am really not having a good time but i can i keep made a fucking noisy floor too are you guys you guys are just... Yeah. Taking the piss. I don't know where I need to go either. Another moss over there. I can leap to the second one. I can maybe get into some darkness. I don't know. Don't have enough moss to really uh, do a good job here. But I guess I'm going to try and get by without the damn thing seeing me. Because trying to blow it up doesn't work. these out. I mean, I don't want to. No, apparently not. I'm super bright here. Well, some of the time I'm super, super light. And I've got to get over there. Can't even stand to look at it this close. This is horrendous. book. Why am I so brightly lit here? No lights. Damn you. I'm in the shadow of the damn pillar and I'm brightly lit. And there's more fucking tile floor. Now let's put 
the arrows away. I'm, too, I'm definitely too brightly lit with the arrows. Oh, it's loot. It's not a book of info about... Here's how to demolish spiders. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. Okay, there's a, there is a much darker spot right here. Somehow. I'll take it. I need to pick my moment to go, and I missed it. <sighs> I'm just really, really having a difficult time even, even doing this at all. Space is the least scary part of it. Not, it's not. Arachnophobia is not a logical thing. There's nothing here that's about logic. This is just. Uh, I'm gonna go right around the corner because I know it goes into that room. There's the damn silk we need, right? Okay, it didn't hear me. It's not chasing me. webs here. Is there anything else I need in this room? I could put that light out there maybe and maybe I should. I feel like maybe I should. Next time it turns around and goes I can go and put the light out. Breathe. Drink coffee. and make sure my hands aren't shaking too much. Doesn't really do much, but okay. I don't like the cracked wall there. The look of that is... Feels like something's going to break out of there when I take the strings. I'm feeling like something's going to happen. Try this. What opened? Oh, we've got stairs, we've got a way down. Let's go, let's not wait to see Madame Spider again. Oh. <sighs> Hope that's all the spider stuff. Are we just back here again? It is I, Shendai, who tamed the mighty sentinels, set and Yazath, and inducted them to our brotherhood. I have not read that before, so this is we're kind of in the same zone. Back in the major tower zone. Less spidery stuff I can see. Thankfully, but have I been here before? Oh, that's a... That looks like a spider hole. <laughs> well, that's all webby as well, which I'm not keen on. What's this way? Set and Yazath. Are they the big spiders? We saw Yazath before. We saw my name is... No, they must be the two silent guys, right? We saw... And my name is Yazath. Or something. This does not look like a spidery room. It is trapped, okay.
There's no safety drop down there. There is not safety drop down there, I'm hearing spiders. I thought I was done with the spiders, I'm not. There's more down there, there's more webs that way. This is gonna be bad both sides. Reload. I'm wasting stuff. Crap, I'm stuck. So that's one way to go. This is a different way to go. This one looks less like we're dropping into in front of a spider's face. It did it was odd that the spiders couldn't get to the thing, but I am I cannot tell you how annoyed I am that it's not the end of the spider ship. I'm hearing spiders out here too. Walk into the fucking bright light. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a little one, okay. That's littler than the normal little one, which means it'd be even more of a pain to hit. But okay, maybe that's all the other ones I was hearing. Maybe they are just tiny ones now. If it's just tiny ones now, I can cope much better with that. Alright, this is bullish, right? Let's loot there. Obviously, there's loot there. All right, onwards. It hasn't even been an hour yet, which is good. I hopefully I can get away from finish all the spider shit <sighs> before we. Uh... I don't care if there's more loot down in the other place where we drop this. I just don't care. You know, we're just place beneath the trap door. It doesn't matter. I don't need loot. Got this, the silk things. Unless that was the way the signal ring, but it was a secret, right? It was well, sort of a secret. It can't be the way forward. I guess it's just dirt here. Okay, we're back at these towers, and this was just fully dark before, so I couldn't even see that it was here. All right, so you know what? Let's let's talk about that for a second. I've talked about the pitch darkness, right? The pitch darkness is a pitch black pit. This is, of course, very cool. Pitch darkness to hide that there's a passageway that you're gonna use later. That is also that's actually that's actually a good use of it. The problem with Pitch Darkness is that in a video game you have extremely little of senses. So it's basically vision and sound. You're not using sound at all to compensate for the lack of being able to, you know, in, in real life you have, well, vision, light works a lot differently in real life. Light reflects off stuff. Little tiny source of light like that, in real life, a light source that was like that that was enough to light that wall like that would make Huge amounts of this actually visible because your light, your eyes are extremely sensitive to light when it's really dark. 
very small amounts of light can be seen, and light travels a very long way and bounces everywhere. Now, obviously, Thief doesn't do global illumination, so you, lights are limited. And here they have limited them even further by giving them a very small radius, so they just, like, arbitrarily stop, like, this, this, you know, sudden stop of light is completely unrealistic. Well, and not the realism of the goal, but it's like... The point is that when you make things pitch black, you're taking away, basically, all the senses the player has. I mean, you're not trying to, they're not trying to compensate for sound, they can't feel anything. You can kind of sort of vaguely feel when you can't move anymore when there's a wall because your footsteps stop, but maybe that's just also a silent material. You know, it's just like... It really sucks. It really sucks because you can't feel things to make up for not being able to see things. Or is there going to be another noisy guy here? No. By noisy guy, I mean quiet guy who we have to not make noise around. Uh, and that's what, that's the main reason I don't care, like, using the pitch, I understand the pitch black stuff, but spookiness, that's fine, I, I haven't done a problem with spooky, I mean, I do have a problem with spookiness, but not a design problem, I just like, I don't like it, I don't get on with it, but it's not a design problem. But pitch blackness and thief is a design problem. Have we been here before? No, I wouldn't recognize that. Um... Oh, maybe I was down there. Maybe this is the one I was looking up and saying. I wonder how I get up there. Hopefully we're done with the spider stuff now. We are out of the main spider section. Um, yeah, this looks familiar. I don't remember the way back. I heard the footsteps again, though. Let me go down below. Still searching for me? That guy, yeah, he's still he's still searching for us. Okay, this is the pillars of silence. This is. Oh, he's there. He's unhappy. Alright, I think this I think this is the way back out. Yes. Alrighty. Hopefully I don't need the boulder again. Uh what was I there was had one more thing I was gonna say about the pit blackness. It's like what you see in most uh, games these days is the player has a very small dynamic light attached to them that lights up their immediate surroundings. Not very far, maybe a meter, maybe two meters at most. It's like not, not that it lets you see anything ahead of you. It doesn't let you, it doesn't illuminate the player in the sense of thief light gem lit up, but it illuminates their immediate surroundings, and that compensates for vision basically being your only way to sense the world around you. Because uh, you can see if they're, you know, walking up steps or ramps or, if, you know, if there's something on the ground that you might be feeling. Whereas here, what you get is just nothing, it's just zero, and it's the zero just kind of sucks. Can I use this? Oh. Do I trust the bridge? It's noisy. That's what that guy was. He's he's a undead gong ringer. I guess I have to trust the bridge. Or right, I'll leave my rubble there in case I need it. My pet rock. He's coming back out with me, by the way. Tadir, the Archmagus. I punish the fools with a rain of fire. Only those who walk among the dead shall avoid the weight of my curses. 
traps, huh? What does that mean, though? I see, I can go down here, there's floor of skulls. Let's, let's test it out, right? Mm-hmm. Is that wood? That's not wood, right? It is. Oh, so I could rope across it. Some waste one. Did I step on it again? No. So that's one way across. It's the other way would have been to come down here, right? Walk among the dead. Which is just quite safe. I mean, this is good. They don't even have a good sound for this floor, unfortunately. It's just it sounds like stone. Okay. <sighs> Is this a trap? It's not. That's the forest up there. Lowly acolyte, you stand witness that Thetia's rest would have been disturbed by mere filth. We grant to him a true reward. A deeper slumber. In deeper soil. I have some loot for your trap for your toil. Right, where's his ring? The ring's not there. Oh, he's not here. He's... he's... You're calling me mere pills. You're saying, you got here. Too bad for you. Fuck you. He's further on. Ha ha ha. Sucks to be you, Tomb Robber. Alright, I guess I keep going further on. I can't see. Right, am I going to have to drop down there? Well, it's water. Let's go. <gasps> the tomb is not done with me yet. <sighs> but I guess... Oh, I like the dolphins. Don't think they would like being here. It's a bit too dark and confined, but I uh, feel like this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I think we're done with all the spider shit. I hope we are. Um, I really hope we are. So, uh, yeah, it's a few minutes shorter than normal, but I feel like it's a good time to break. So, next time, we'll see what lies in this deeper soil and what other tricks this tomb has in store for us.